welcome back to Tea Time with Tiara. It is so good to be here. And you guys know what I mean. I am happy to be alive. Um, yeah, just that simple. So I was using this cup the last day or two. And I don't think I really got to appreciate it. So I looked at it this morning and it says, enjoy every moment. And I thought, yeah, what else is there to do with your time? If you're going to be living, you might as well enjoy it. So literally be purposeful, purposeful with your intent to enjoy life. But today what we have is matcha green tea from Trader Joe's. It's a single serve packet. Um, that's it. I've never really liked this kind of stuff. Like, I drink it for the benefits. That's that simple. Um, and it's growing on me, but not plain like this. I like it with some cream or whatever. Make it a latte. I did not bring a whisk, so I need to go more of a down there. The stir. And how much did it say? How much water? One packet into an eight ounce cup of hot water until dissolved. Serve right away. I thought it said drink right away. I'm like, oh, that's not a good idea. It's scorching hot. We don't want to drink right away. We might get burned right away. I have a diaper looking like I would like it to. Let's see if you can see that. Oh, almost spilling, but not quite. You can see my crotch too. Watch. Anyhow, so let's see what this tastes like. I have my honey set up. This honey I actually just picked up from Trader Joe's and I shared it the other night, so that's why it's already open. Not so bad. This cup is larger than eight ounces because it doesn't taste as earthy. as green, as grassy. Yeah, it's okay for it to be grassy if you're looking for health. Yeah, grassy, leafy, greeny, leafy green vegetables all kind of goes together. So, of course it's gonna taste greeny, grassy, greeny. I don't really need any honey in it. But I did wanna show you guys the honey. Um, it comes in, I think, five different flavors. The mimosa is a bit nutty, it says. And then they have macadamia. What does it say? I'll just read it. Floral and nutty. So there's two of those. And then the orange blossom. Distinctively fragrant and floral. Does it look like we all tried the same one? That's not good. Oh, same two, three. Then we have a sunflower. Nobody wanted the macadamia one. Sunflower tastes like uh, dry, not too sweet. I just really, I turned it off on my phone and I still do it. Distractions, don't run with them. Just stay focused. Clover honey, light, delicate flavor. Well, it wouldn't be me if I didn't just open up a new one because don't use your teeth for these kind of things. You only get one set. You can put in others. Well, I guess you get two. Get two. Two sets of teeth. And um, that's all you get. 
kids. We better take care of them. I mean, we should really take better care of our kids' teeth also. I know my teeth are so... The struggle is real with these things. So everybody take care of your teeth and definitely children's teeth. Don't use them for anything but chewing. Let's put a little bit on there. Oh, it smells wonderful. What does it say? Oh, floral. It does smell floral. I should have tried that before reading it. Now I kind of cheated myself. Can you really cheat yourself? Did I smell it? If, would I have smelled that if I didn't know what it was supposed to smell like? Hmm. Yeah, because I didn't really know which one match which. I just read it to you. I didn't memorize it. Or did I? You never know. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that smells good. I don't you think I like honey. I might be learning to like honey. Might be learning because I'm starting to put it in, in, in all my tea. But I didn't like honey for years. And then a friend of mine, he pointed out, oh, you're like a tea, uh, honey connoisseur. And I thought, no, I don't like it. Oh, I'm obsessive. So OCD, I do buy honey wherever I go because it's, it's good for you. And originally I thought that maybe it would soothe my sore throat. I didn't know that my sore throat was not a sore throat and that I was going through menopausal change and well I knew I was going through a change I just didn't know I was going through a, um, that your voice can your vocal cords can be affected it kind of tastes like happy I, ooh, I should just go somewhere maybe that's the sun peeking through there I don't know but anyway yeah enjoy every moment enjoy every freaking moment today tomorrow all day and it's a lot of work you would think it's not so hard to enjoy the day that's supposed to be easy it's not try it it is not easy to enjoy every moment I mean life gets to be and you still have to say hey no I'm making choices here I am choosing not to bite you're trying to tick me off not gonna happen. I'm gonna enjoy this moment too because I'm gonna learn from it. So no, reality is you can't sit with a smile when somebody's screaming. Well, you can, but you might look a little strange. Somebody's sitting screaming and yelling at you. But you can make your choice as to how you're gonna respond to it. Their action has already been done. But you can choose to still Make it as pleasant as you can for you and for them. Uh, you have no clue what their childhood was like or why they're even behaving the way they are. So even if it's somebody screaming and yelling, you can try. Of course, I don't do this every time. Sometimes I'm the one yelling and screaming. Heard it here first. <laughs> so, yeah, but you try to practice it. I do it a lot less every day. I try to really seize the moment and enjoy it. Stay la vie. Yeah, I try to enjoy the moment. And yeah, I just say, hey, let me empathize with this person. I don't know what they're going through. Or if I do know what they're going through, I didn't cause it. And if I did cause it, sorry see that's why you save your sorries for then so that you can actually mean it but even if you didn't cause it you can say this person might be just taking this out on me because I'm the easiest person for them to take it out on does that mean be a doormat mm -mm. nope no no you just simply say don't talk to me that way um, I don't like that it makes me feel disrespected it makes me feel hurt we just use our words like we tell the children. Use your words. That makes me feel hurt. That hurts my feelings. Please don't say that to me. And most times, decent people, I guess everybody's decent, 
um, people that are trying and learning, they will say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. You know, my bad. What, what did I do exactly so I don't do it again? They'll try to understand and empathize, empathize. And even if they don't understand what you, when you explain to them what they said, even if they don't necessarily agree, they'll be aware and they'll listen. Maybe I'll think about this the next time this happens so I can see whether or not it's me. But they don't need to sit and argue with you about it. They, I mean, you're going to have some people that will. And you can still hold your ground and say, yeah, you know, we're not going to have this conversation at this tone. In my case, I just say I've got anxiety because I do, and I'm not going to keep at this speed and this pace. That pace makes me feel anxious, and I don't like it. The tone makes me feel anxious, and I don't like it. So, hasta luego, or hasta mañana, or hasta, I say never. Well, not never. You don't want to ever say never. Maybe that's why I don't know the word. Yeah, hasta luego. Later can be wherever, whenever. Hasta luego. See you later. Well, until next time, you guys. Enjoy every moment. I mean, this cup came from the dollar store, I believe. I don't even really know where it came from. It just kind of showed up, but it does have my feather arrow on here, like all my wonderless people out there. So it was just meant to be here, I guess. All right, you guys. Talk to you later. Have a good day.